Good day, YouTube. I'm Dylan Anderson, also known as Dylan Big Daddy, coming to you through the power of YouTube. And I've been gone for a while, for about a month. And I know a lot of you must have gone, ah, oh, I think he's gone. He must be dead. Oh, let's just watch Troy Sivan. He's like, so cute. Yeah. I know that's exactly what you sound. For the last month, I have been in India, especially Mumbai, India, doing a film course with the University of Canberra and the India Study Abroad Centre. So our trouble started in early July when Matthew Stewart, a good friend of mine, jumped on a plane with me from Sydney to Kuala Lumpur to Mumbai. On the way, we bumped into some of our mates, Taryn, Siobhan and Nick. When we got to the apartment, there was a bit, bit of a kerfuffle. Um, apparently, the people that owned the building didn't want us there, but we sorted that out. But we met with some more of our teammates. Dom and Abby, I believe, were the only ones there, as well as Sue, who was the academic, who is actually marking this. So please don't fail me. That'd be great. Thanks. And then a few more of us arrived. Uh, Elise and Lewis, who had been traveling around India for a month. The first week basically was watch a movie in the guest house and then we go and meet the director, editor, screenwriter. So the first movie that we watched was Atma and I'll be putting links to all these films and people down below. Atma with Sapan Varma and it was really cool because uh, Sapan gave us a bit of history with Bollywood. Pretty much they were like, hey, Western culture is making a lot of movies, making a lot of movies. Let's just do the exact same thing. That's... But then it also has like an underground, underbelly sort of history because there was a technology ban, high taxes. So a lot of, you know, uh, mafia people got, a, got their hands on funding it. So that's pretty interesting. Then we also watched Shahid, which is about uh, the Bombay bombings. We met the uh, CEO of Isaac, who was also the director of that, Hansel. But the first week was pretty much just doing that. We watched a film, we met somebody, uh, had a yarn, it was great. Then on that weekend, the first weekend, we took a bus to Malovely, which is in the mountains that between Pune and Mumbai, uh, where we stayed in a bungalow. We met uh, some Americans who was doing a medical, medical program with Isaac, uh, Nolan and Devi. We went up to the cliffs where I stood under a waterfall in just in front of this giant green field in front of me. Everything was there, water on, on top of me. With It was just fantastic. Then we went around and looked at some Buddhist caves with stupas and things, and it was fantastic. Um, then we got really drunk that night and just had a fun, fun time in Malavli. And then we went back to the second week, which the second week was Okay, now we're going to go out and see some live shoots. This was mainly daily soaps because there's a lot of them. <laughs> like, <laughs> quite a lot of them. Just everywhere. So it was really easy to get hands on. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go to a film set, which I thought was a bit disappointing. But anyway, and then on the third week, we went to uh, VFX, post-production houses, which we were meant to go see Pixion Studios, which we're all really excited about going and seeing. But unfortunately, on Wednesday the week before, uh, it burnt down. It was in this tall building, and the entire thing just exploded. So we weren't able to go see that. But we were able to go to Running Image, uh, Pixel D Studios, and we went to see some Foley, some sound recording, uh, dubbing, color corrections. I was actually able to get my hands on this really awesome set piece where I could just use dials and buttons and things and make a raw piece of footage just look absolutely spectacular. And that was really fun. But in week three, we were also uh, split up into groups and we were starting planning a film. I teamed up with Abby, who uh, we went for a like black and white film, so we we're just getting everything organised uh, to go into week four, which was exactly that, making the film. Unfortunately, I had done this to myself, so yeah, I wasn't able to do much. I was the director of the film. Um, Abby had to go down into Mumbai when we were doing like location stuff, but I met up with her when we did cafe things and things back at the guest house and around. So I, I was able to do a lot. On Friday, the very last day of the program, we went in to this light box cinema, which was this great theater in Mumbai where we got to sit in 
and have our films put on to the big screen. And that was just incredible, having my film there, uh, a lot of people, like-minded people sitting there, who then claps, we spoke, we had, had a lot of fun, um, and yeah, it was just incredible. Uh, which you can see the film, the completed film here, let's put it here, uh, where you can go, go see it for free right now on YouTube. I, I'm very proud of that film. I mean, I got to make a film in India, so hey, that's tops, right? <laughs> um, check it out, it'll be so good. So good if you could. And then the next morning, Matt and I and Siobhan jumped into a plane and headed back. So that was my time in India. Now, a five minute film video about it is not going to be enough to cover everything that we did. Uh, fortunately enough, I was able to write a blog of my trip there. It is very in depth. Um, it became the morning paper for the people on the trip. So if you want to go see that, you can go to isaacbollywoodtour.blogspot.com I'm doing uh, some practical units in university, so see a lot more documentaries and uh, creative things happening on this YouTube channel. But thank you so much. Hit like if you like everything, and don't forget to subscribe to see everything that I'm going to be doing because I, it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. It's only up from here, guys. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you later.